Wear the Gown, brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. Well, imagine being told you only have months to live. Then your doctor suggests trying a brand new life-saving device that happened a man about to meet in this week's Wear the Gown. Yeah, I thought I was dying. 77-year-old Harold Cronister has had his share of heart problems. For six years, he had a pacemaker and a defibrillator. But at a checkup last year, he got the news. When they told me I had three to six months. His heart was failing. That puts you in a spot right there. To get out of that spot, he called up the team at CHI St. Vincent Heart Institute. First thing he asked me, Doc, can you make me feel better? Dr. Mohammed Bagal. I remember I said, Mr. Cronister, we'll do our best we can to make you feel better. Dr. Bagas and Dr. Thurston Bauer didn't want to take the short-term approach to treat end-stage heart failure. In them, about 50% of these patients die within six months. Instead, they recommended a brand new device never been used before in Arkansas. So this plugs into the heart like this. Hardware HVAD. It's basically a tiny pump that provides plenty of power, 10 liters a minute. Which is a lot more than most of us uh, require at any point in time. Here's how it works. It's placed into the tip of the heart and it takes blood out of the heart, goes through the pump, and then through a graft or a tube that we then sew to the aorta, which is the largest blood vessel in your body. Or as his family put it, So it's like a turbo for a car. That turbo was approved in September for patients not eligible for heart transplants. Patients like Chronister. So this gives them an option that would allow them to not only live longer, but feel better, and also be at home during that time and spend much less, less time in the hospital. We caught up with Chronister a week and a half after the surgery. Yeah, I feel better. You do, you look good. It was time to take that turbo on a test drive down the hallway. You go ahead. One step at a time. You're good. You're going to make my job easy. <laughs> yeah. How far to make it? It was good. Two miles. <laughs> <laughs> Two miles. Doctors say more than half of the patients who get this procedure will survive three and a half to four years. Compare again, that's a three to six months that Cronister was given to live. That was a, a year ago now. Yeah, and another big difference. The device is so small. Doctors only do minimally invasive surgery to incisions, meaning a faster recovery time. Yeah, they used to have to actually, you know, split open the rib cage, separate right. big, big recovery time, longer time in the hospital, more expensive. So it's this is a good, good deal. Absolutely.